a mob stormed up and the doors were locked, so they started, well, they, they got an ax and started chopping down the door. I, with all my courage, had hidden under the bed. The leader was the local forester who'd played cards with my father for years and who was very embarrassed and he said, don't worry, nothing will happen to you. In fact, the, the five of us sort of were marched out through the club where we could see uh, it was being looted and uh, the uh, bar had been opened and they were drinking and uh, people standing on either side mocking us. And uh, so we were marched out through that and then the police were waiting to arrest us. I mean, we obviously were the troublemakers who had caused uh, uh, this whole thing to erupt. And um, so we and a couple of other families then to were hauled to the police station and it was the, the typical interview that uh, there was the nice policeman and the bad policeman and uh, the, the, the nice policeman would uh, start about my studies and your bright boy and do you have any weapons in your apartment and uh, a year earlier my brother and I just rummaging through closets and things had had found the revolver and the, the ammunition for it that was uh, sort of in hiding there, but uh, it said, uh, uh, weapons, is it? Oh, oh yes, uh, kitchen knives are very good for weapons, aren't they? <laughs> okay, so they, they carried it on for a number of hours, I remember, it was a very intense interview, but in the end they let uh, the five of us go back home 